All right, we've talked midfield, we've talked defense, let's talk some offense. So here we have a three-dimensional animation, and I've stuck trails on the individual players so you can kind of see who's doing what, right? You can slow it down if you need to. You can come back and watch the uh, 3D animation from the different angles if you want, uh, but we're going to break it down a little bit. So as you can see, you have blue going out, you have green coming in, you have the midfielders moving just a little bit to give themselves a little bit of space, and you have orange that goes through, scores the goal. So if we look at it from the side view that's about to pop up, and here it is, watch orange's run. So you see blue come out, he made a run, he pulled the center back with him, green goes into his space, green receives the ball, orange has made the run, orange is just barely onside, goes through, he scores, the defensive line is all out of whack, and we're going to look at the two-dimensional animation and really kind of dive into what happened here. All right, so let's look at some stills here. So, or not stills, but uh, rather two-dimensionals. So what we have here is I have the lines uh, written out on where the runs would be made. So if you look, we have 63, who is making a run down the left-hand sideline, right, down the left line. We have 27 here that is making a run to the corner, or in the direction of the corner at least. And then you have number four who is dropping back to open up a lane between himself and number 89. So if we advance one frame, ball goes in, 89 looks up, 27 has made a run to the corner. At this point he's offside, but that's okay. 63 has made a run down the line trying to pull number one with him. 89 looks up, doesn't like any of his options, number 9 is wide open, plays it to number 9, right? But plays it just a little bit forward to allow number 9 to drive on the ball a little bit. So, as we see, number 9 now has options, right? So number 9 can go back to 89, he can go to 63. Now watch what 63 has done there. So, if we look and go back one frame, we'll see 63 runs to the corner, and then... As the ball is played into number nine, he comes back to the ball. All right? Watch that trail. As he comes back to the ball, he's done two things. One, he's forced this defender here, number one, to drop with him. Well, rather, to drop the defensive line, because 63 initially made the run down the line. By initially making that run down the line, number one has to respect that. All right? Because he's timed it in such a way that if... Number 9 wanted to try and play that ball over the top, or if 89 wanted to try and play the ball over the top, number 1 has to respect it, right? So, by doing that, number 1 has to go with him. As 63 cuts back toward the ball this way, now he's created separation between himself and number 1. At the same time, number 27 has now put two other defenders in conflict, number 4 and number 3, all right? Number four has stepped up to go with the red number four right here and left a hole behind him in this space right here, right? Number three then has to track number 27 because if number three doesn't go with number 27, number 27 runs in open space, he's all by himself, right? And that ball can go out that way. Or had it been when 89 played it, 89 could have played it that way. So then, as number nine has the ball, we see he has some options. We're going to go ahead and go ahead one frame. Now watch what happens here. 63 makes the run between these two defenders and across the face of number one. All right, we talked about running across the face. It is for position, right? Number one is behind 63 in this, care, in this case. He is, 63 is between number one and the ball. So if that ball came into 63, he can shield the ball. The ball doesn't come into 63, but he's still making the correct run, all right? At the same time, number four has seen what has happened with number three, because number three was in conflict, right? Number three didn't want to have to vacate the space, but because of number 27's run to the outside, number three had to go with him, and that left this big chasm right in the middle. So number four now runs into this space right there, and he is now standing in open space between four players in this big box right here. Because the defensive number four is again caught in two minds. Does he, because he's the left back on the defense, right? 
Does he run inside to follow number four? Or does he run back to try and cover number 27? What does he do? You see, he runs back to cover number 27. Ball goes back to number 89. Number four is now standing in open space by himself. Number four ran back to cover 27. Three already had to cover 27, so he's scrambling to get back into position, right? At this point, number four is standing in open space. That ball comes in from number 89, splitting the two midfielders who were trying to shield and trying to get the ball away, but because of the positioning of number four, he kind of just bypassed all of that, right? So that ball comes into number four, and we stop it, and we look. So number three is trying to get back, but he was already running the opposite direction. So he had to turn around and try and run back. You see where the arrow's pointing. At this point, number four has the ball. Number two, the other center back for the defense, has to step to number four, because if he doesn't, number four is just going to dribble right through and score, right? Obviously, he can't do that. So number two has to step up, okay? But now he's in conflict, because what has number 63 been doing this whole time? He has been very slowly creeping across and getting in behind, right? So again, you're causing defenders in conflict. Number one now has a choice to make. Does he run with number 63? Even though if he runs with number 63, it'll leave all of this space open for maybe number nine to run into, or say there's a left back here, uh, another player, right? That player can run into that space, right? So if number one goes with 63, now he's left a whole bunch of space behind him, right? At this point, 63 keeps running. He's gone into the space that number two is vacated. 63 is still on side, right? I think three is just about holding him on, and one is definitely holding him on side. So if we look, advance, that ball has been played. 63 is on side. He's made a run for the goal. Number two had to step up. So there's a big space behind number two. Number four plays the ball through the middle. 63 takes it. 63 takes the ball, and he scores. So let's go back just a little bit, point out a couple other things. All right, so as number 89 receives the ball here, there's a couple of things, right? 27 has put number three and number four in conflict, right? Which has opened up the space right here for number four. 27 has a couple options here, right? In... The terms of what happened for this play didn't really do anything, but he has some options, right? Say number three is really fast and he gets across and he blocks that, or maybe number two doesn't step in and he instead chooses to track with number 63, so he drops back a little bit, right? And that's all that happens. So if that happens, number 27 has the option to drop back a little bit, and then he can receive that ball from number four, right? Because as that ball comes into number four, 27 can drop off here, into this space right here, and receive that ball. Now again, people are in conflict. Does number 2 go with 63? Does he go with number 4? If 27 is drop off, does 4 come with uh, 27? Right? So this is, the, this is the game of chess that you play as runners, right? If 63 doesn't get that ball through the middle, well, he's offside, but he still at least caused the doubt in the defense, right? And at that point, they're probably going to try and track him. So number three will probably try and drop off. Number two might try and drop off. Number one is going to look and say, oh, I need to go get this guy, right? So at the very least, it opens up opportunity, right? So even if that ball comes back out, the defense will be thinking, oh, we need to do this, we need to do this. And you're putting defenders in conflict. And that is why runs are so incredibly important because you are putting defenders in conflict. They have to do one thing or the other. They can't do both. And so by putting defenders in conflict, you're asking them to make a mistake. All right, so then let's look at one more. Not an animation. We'll do some stills, and we'll see what we can do with that. Okay? So here we have uh, a similar configuration as before. Change the numbers around a little bit. Uh, I don't want to don't want it to get a little too confusing with the multiple number fours, all that good stuff. And then there's a keeper goal now. So, let's take a look here. So, as number 89 has the ball here, right, obviously, in the still, he has some options, right? He can go to 27, he can go to 4, he can go to 9, he can pop it over to 63, right? But at the same time, these guys, the forwards, are not static. They're moving. And this is why communication is so important, right? Because 27 runs here, and 
four runs here. Well, they've now run into each other. Number six is defending both of them. Not the greatest thing in the world. So, what do we do? Well, if number four wants to make this run, he points and he, sh and he shouts, right? Shouts to number 27 and says, hey, I'm going through, right? Or something like that, right? So say number four makes that run, right? Number four makes the run, I'll draw it out. Number four makes the run here, right? And then maybe 27 drops off. And then 63 can go down the line. 63 can go this way. Maybe 63 wants to come inside, right? The idea is you put defenders in conflict. So let me go ahead and clear this up. So what are we trying to do here? Well, number six is probably going to try and challenge for the ball, right? If six tries to challenge, 89 has some options, right? You can dribble them if you want, or if that is something that is a capability. But you want to avoid dribbling people if possible, because you want to open up space, not compress it, right? This is the same reason why if number four is here, number four, you don't want to run straight into him, right? Because then number six, again, is defending two people. Don't want to do that. That's why spacing is so important. So, six challenges. Five will probably push up a little bit, right? And then one of the center backs, probably number three in this case, will step to 27. So... This is where things get really interesting, right? Number 27 steps, maybe three steps this way, right? Bang. That pass is now open, right? There is now a space in between the two players, right? Say uh, the ball goes to 27. Now 27 has the ball. So now maybe three comes to challenge. Three comes to challenge. At this point, this is where four's movement is so important, right? If four came inside early, then number eight would come with him, right? And at that point, you're, he's kind of cutting this off, right? However, if four has delayed his run, right, or if he made the run to the outside and now he's coming back inside, there's now space opened up right here. So now number four runs inside. Number eight's on his back. 27 can pop it around the corner. Number four can dribble through, score right? That's another option. Also, as 27 receives it, maybe 4 makes this run, but number, number 3 realizes just in time and jumps in front of it, right? Well, 63 can be making a run across the face of number 7, right? In front of number 7. And now you've put number 2 in conflict. Does number 2 step to 27? Well, if 2 steps to 27, bang, to 63, right? Because there's that pass. If 2 decides to step to 63, there is now space right here for 27 to go, oh, hey, that's my ball, and dribble right on through, right? Number 63 did not receive the ball. Number 4 did not receive the ball. Just like that, it opened up space for 27 by them just making movement. This is why offensive movement is so incredibly important, because it's not just, what do I do when I get the ball? Or how do I get the ball? Or how can I make sure that I'm in an open space to get the ball, right? That's important, obviously, right? You want to get the ball, you want to go take, you want to go score, right? But it's not just that. You are moving to make a defense, make a decision, and you want to make that decision wrong, all right? So here's another option, right? Number nine, who hasn't been doing a whole lot this whole time, but maybe there's another player down here defending. Number nine can come out. And all of a sudden, number seven's in conflict, right? As 27 has the ball here, number two's in conflict. Now number seven's in conflict. Does he continue to run with 63? Because 63 is making this run this way, right? Or does he try and watch number nine, right? Does he come up to number nine? So if that's the case, then does he come up this way? Does he go this way? Who knows, right? But number nine moving from right here to right here, just put another defender in conflict. Maybe number five has to go with him. Cool, now number 89 can come across, maybe take the drop off, right? That's another option. Maybe number nine, if number nine's here, maybe he runs straight, right? And now you have that pass right here. And again, number five's in conflict now because number five wants to come defend the ball, but now he has to step this way. 
And again, 89's open, right? Maybe number four makes this run between. Now number three's in conflict. Do I go get the ball? Do I go track number four? Right? So it is making choices to influence what other people are doing. Because if number three just decides, oh, I don't care what number four does, number four, you walk right through, bang, goal, right? Assuming he stays onside. Let's assume that he does, right? If number two decides, well, I don't care what number 63 is doing, 63 goes, thank you very much, I'll walk right through, bang, goal, right? If they decide, oh, well, we have to do, we have to watch these guys, number four attracts number three, number two goes to 63, 27 is the wrong goal, right? Not, n neither player touched the ball in that sequence. But in, the, in those moments, by doing a little shift, little run, it pulled the defense apart. And that is what makes goals.